He is an icon of the state's snowmobile racing community, a seven-time champion of this truly Alaskan race. This is Inside the Iron Dog with Scott Davis, presented by ski Snowmobiles. What matters is what's next. But most of the veterans, the guys have been around, been through a lot of different conditions as far as, um, you know, the cold is probably the biggest thing that makes you, that drives you to, to carry more clothing. It really, it's, there's a huge variety of conditions. So first day, uh, big bumps, slow, windy, you're sweating profusely. So, you know, we try to keep it light. So you just this base layer of, of smart wool or something like that or poly. So, you know, and I like to put a, get a, a zip neck, high neck on there, so if it does start getting cold, I can zip it up underneath my suit. The, the, some of the kids can get by with a lot less clothing than I can, and I'd put, when it gets below zero or ten below or something, I'd put another layer on right over top of that one. And we'd, we'd do this at a layover. We would never stop and do it unless we were virtually freezing to death. Good pair of wool socks. Next thing would come uh, knee pads. The knee pads, under extreme conditions, we would, we would put a heavyweight fleece on over top of that. Say you're taking off at 30, 40 below on the river, um, and you're not working very hard. So that, that's, what, that's what I'm saying. There's a huge, at, on the river at 30 below, or in the bumps at 30 below, big difference. You know, a layer or two difference in. in uh, next thing we do is put on a protective device. This might have saved my life last year. Um, you know, your spleen is right in this area right here, and it's kind of double covered right there. Takes uh, keep you from getting an impact from a ski or penetration from the sled. The, the rules require either bunny boots or you have to carry extra liners, which are kind of a pain to carry. So most of the guys just settle in and wear these. They're, they're heavy and, you know, they're not that great of a boot, but they are extremely good when, when they're wet. Another uh, thing we heard, learned the hard way and, and, uh, is uh, color of goggles. So it's clear out and you can wear, you could wear any of these. If it starts to cloud up, then you need either, you know, this amber or uh, this uh, purple lens here to help you with some definition, otherwise the light gets really flat. This is real popular, it's called foam tape. And uh, you see duct tape on guys, but uh, duct tape has very little insulating value. So what we used to do for years was we'd put this in this little spot right here. Well, gloves, like I said, I like a fairly, this is like a heavy duty uh, cold weather motor, motorcycle glove is what this is. Number one, your bar warmers work better the thinner your glove. Uh, so I like, to, I like to keep my gloves pretty thin and I'll adjust uh, with my bar warmers and w when I start getting cold on the back then I'll pull my gauntlet over it uh, and, and uh, that protects the, the seam of your glove and your coat. With, with the right equipment and um, attention paid to make sure there's no exposed skin, you, 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 can, you can do this for 32 years like I did without much frostbite. Stay up to date on the 2016 Iron Dog with the team of Channel 2 News and KTUU.com. Inside the Iron Dog, brought to you by Skidoo Snowmobiles. What matters is what's next.